Hello and welcome back to another 202 Gaming video. Today we will be covering Fort Tedder, basically CUSA, United States Military. If you're like me, then you're tired of a bunch of mindless recruits running around or a bunch of O2s asking you to train even though you can't. So what do we do about that? We make a video on it. How we're gonna start out is, is join the group and Discord. And I feel like being in the game's Discord has to be one of the most important things because you can easily access documents, you can ask, access when trainings are being hosted, what types of trials are being hosted at that moment. You can join regimental discords and get notified. And I'm pretty sure regiments do require discord. At least I know SS does. I will be putting out MED video, which is Military Education Department, because it's been a very highly requested so expect that within my next two uploads. Anyways, so moving on, once you're in the game, you're either gonna wanna scroll down if you're on mobile and you'll have under developer, you'll see CUSA, United States Military. Just gonna wanna go ahead and click on that. Then click join, which will be somewhere around here on the top part, this little box right here will always have it. And you can, uh, you have two options to joining Discord. You can either go on to these right tabs right here and it's essentially the same loadout for mobile where you'll see the small tabs and you can scroll down and you can see all the social links all at once and if you just want to go on the small tabs you're just going to want to click the one that looks like the discord logo once you click it you're going to want to go ahead and accept invite and once you're in the server you're going to want to verify there's certain actions that you will don't do what this guy did. He did not verify himself, but you're going to want to type slash verify and it'll show you exactly what you need to do. Or maybe you don't really have to do anything, but it'll show you events, tryouts, bot commands, everything I've just explained before. You can even win Robux from some of the community events and stuff like that. It is honestly just really great to be in the discord server okay so now at this point you've loaded into the game you're at spawn and maybe you're private so you don't know exactly what to do so if you haven't already joined the game and maybe you're just watching this because you take interest in this game but you can join the military it tells you exactly how right here as well i just explained that and you're going to be greeted by military police and military police will help you change if you have, which if you go up to this little tab right here, you can buy base access along with a variety of other types of game passes. But what you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is ignore those. All the way on the right, you'll see these two person icon and I'll probably have some arrows pointing to it. And you're gonna wanna click on that and you can just scroll, use this thing to scroll, probably just swipe your finger if you're on mobile. And you're gonna wanna scroll until you see United States military and assuming you're not in a regiment this is going to want to be the team you join so just click join team and just like that you'll be placed right into the academy very important you get uniformed so you'll already see that these people most of them are already in uniform and what you're going to want to go ahead and do to get in uniform so you can attend trainings is you're going to want to go under the single person tab click it and then you're gonna wanna go ahead and go under trainings. If you're enlisted, you're gonna wanna go ahead and go under trainings, and tactical will not be used, so do not click on tactical. You will not need it at all. Formals will only be after you have passed, so you won't need those as of right now. So tactical, not needed. Training, first thing you put on. But since, you're, since I'm an officer, I'm gonna wear patrols, and to get the hat, you do the exact same thing. So for you guys, it would be just like this guy. This guy's done it really well. So he's done it really well. He's got his hat, he's got everything perfect. And yeah, so you wanna dress how that guy dressed. And uh, I recommend you don't have your package or anything like that on. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and fall into a training right now. So next off, what you're gonna wanna go ahead and do 
is you're going to go under this tab right here and you can see all the XP required for each rank. Now starting out enlisted and before I go into enlisted I'd also like to mention that for every three minutes in the game you get three XP and once you become an officer XP is not relevant to you anymore. For ranking up, I absolutely recommend just grinding out enlisted trainings. Hopefully it's not too much effort for your peanut minded people in the game. Second lieutenant and up are allowed to co-host and if you're any rank below, you will not be able to co-host at all. So you have a lot of people who will probably come up to you and ask, maybe like a private or a, most likely like corporals. So once you are 02 to 06, well technically 02 to 05, which I am an 05, but you have to attend officer trainings now to rank up, and then once you hit 06, you can no longer rank up, and then 07 to 09, you must be the equivalent rank in a division, or if you go under your game passes, well you can buy cabinet, corporal, or you can get by Br brigadier general, which is 07, which you can host officer trainings 07 and up. So if you're a cabinet, you can also host 07 corporal, that's E5. Well, that is all I have for you guys today. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I would very much appreciate it. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.